Hello and welcome to CUSIS Level 1 Cinema Training. My name is Patrick Hine. And my name is Nathan McCarrick. And we'll be your course instructors throughout this introduction to CUSIS and the CUSIS Designer software. This course is specifically constructed for cinema engineers who want to learn how to use CUSIS in their cinema auditoriums. This training course is designed to get you qualified to build a networked cinema system using the CUSIS ecosystem. Much of the material is shared with the standard CUSIS Level 1 training, but you'll also learn about some specific peripherals and components that are exclusive to the cinema world. The training will be broken into modules that focus on various concepts and processes, and each module will involve watching several short videos and then passing an online assessment that tests your knowledge of those videos. After you've passed the assessments for all of the individual modules, you'll be ready for the final exam, in which you will modify a functional cinema sample design file based on specifications that we provide. You'll submit your design to us for review, and if you pass, then you'll receive your CUSIS Level 1 for Cinema Certificate. Also, the CUSIS ecosystem is constantly evolving and improving, and so CUSIS Designer software is going to be constantly evolving. We try to keep this training course up to date, but of course, from time to time, you may find that the software is a little different than what you see in the videos. Similarly, from time to time, Patrick and I might look mysteriously younger or older, not just in different videos, but sometimes in the same video. Don't freak out. That just means we're keeping things up to date. You should download the latest version of CUSIS Designer software and keep it open while watching each video. Follow along with us and learn as you go. The software is pretty simple and intuitive, but watching the videos is no substitute for doing it yourself. We know that this kind of training can traditionally be a little dry. Boring. So we're going to do our best to keep things as light and entertaining as possible. In return, you have to promise not to be a big old cheater. Yeah. You see, this training course is worth Infocom CTS credits. What? And some people might think that they can fly through this material for some quick credits. Uh, uh, there's no fly in here, buddy. Well, I ought to warn you that if you fail any assessment three times in a row... Fail, fail, fail! You'll be locked out until you contact us and we have to reset it for you. And furthermore, if you're working on your design with someone else in your company and you just decide to copy and paste parts of their design and put it in yours and call it your own, shit, we can tell. If we even suspect that any part of your final design is not your own, we will ask you to submit a new design. Bong! Shit. And this new design will be based on a far more difficult system spec, all right? Okay, good. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. We respond to every email, and we love getting feedback because we're always working to improve this course. Our goal is to get you certified, and we're eager to help. So let's get started. You can take the modules in any order, but you really should start with the first one, Hardware Overview, which will teach you about the physical devices involved in the CUSA system. And then the second module will show you how to navigate the designer software. Before you begin, it's time to take your first assessment based on the video you're watching right now. It's only five questions long, but you'll have to get every single question right in order to start your training. If you fail on this test, you'll have to email us and ask for forgiveness in order to try again. Good luck, and we look forward to seeing your submission soon.